Hello everyone, welcome to Studying in Estonia video. We're very happy to have you over in this, in this video. We're going to tell you more about what Estonia is like and uh, what it is like studying here, what are the different programs and universities that have programs for international students. My name is Kaidi Gerligarner and here we go. So, about Estonia and what Estonia is like, some quick facts for you. Estonia is a very tiny country, and I mean tiny when I say that. Uh, the population is roughly about 1.3 million. Uh, the capital is Tallinn, and since we're part of European Union, uh, we're also using Euro as our currency. Currently, there are about close to 4,500 uh, international students uh, from all over the world and um, we do teach about 160 different programs in English on all levels, on bachelor, masters and PhD level. We also offer plenty of winter and sc summer school options, so if you're not planning on making a full commitment of doing your full degree in another country and just want to do like a couple of weeks and see Estonia at its best during summertime or winter when it's really cold, uh, then summer schools and winter schools are the best option for you. As I said, international students come from all over the world from 120 different countries. Uh, so what Estonia is like and what we're known for. Um, Estonia puts a lot of emphasis and, and kind of resources into education and its people. Uh, our students rank very high in uh, uh, physics, chemistry, things like that in different international uh, testing scores. Estonia is home to a couple of the most affordable European cities to live in. It is a very innovative e-society. If you've ever heard anything about Estonia, it's probably that we do everything online and we really love doing everything via e-channels. So voting, digital uh, document signing, e-residency, different, different e-services that are actually open to international students and foreigners as well. We do have a very vibrant startup community. A lot of startups that started as startups have become very big companies, really successful companies. For example, Skype, TransferWise, and so on. And if you're wondering, as an international student, um, well, Estonia, they speak Estonian. Uh, will I manage as, as an English-speaking person? Um, actually, Estonians understand quite well that with a population that small, not many people in the world speak Estonian. So we do have to learn another language ourselves. So an average Estonian speaks about two, three languages. And um, that means that you will be managing quite fine with English in the country. Younger population speaks English as a second language most commonly. Uh, the older population, I would say people above 50, uh, would speak Russian as a second language. But a lot of people also speak um, Finnish or German or French. So, some more cool facts about Estonia. Um, it's a very beautiful and green country with half of its land covered by forest, uh, with very clean air and clean water that's safe to drink out of the tap. But I can tell you pretty much anything I want, but, and that would be marketing. But uh, the most valuable piece of information that anyone can tell you is from another international student. And our international students, nine out of 10, say they're happy with their studies in Estonia, and they would definitely recommend Estonia as a studying place for international students. So I think that speaks volumes of uh, the life, the student life international students have over here in the country and their satisfaction with the quality of the education. So, about university education in Estonia and what it's like. Um, international, uh, our degrees are internationally accepted. So, that means that when you get a bachelor or master's diploma from an Estonian university, 
That also is accepted in the rest of European Union, in US, Canada, Australia, and so on. Our labs are high tech, so you'll have access to very modern technology and modern possibilities. There are a lot of scholarships and tuition-free programs available uh, for a lot of students. But even so, if you don't get a scholarship, the tuition fees are very, very affordable. Uh, and what is really valuable for international students and what they say and uh, give feedback on is that they love the teacher-student ratio in the country. That means the groups that international students are studying are really small. They get really good feedback from uh, teachers and professors. They can send emails, um, ask some mentorship and so on, because the groups are small. In another country, you would have maybe a group of 100 and 200 people in your program. But in Estonia, it's more likely you would have 20 or 30 people in your group. Also, if you want to do exchange studies, like doing like two countries at one, basically, that's a great opportunity as well to come over here and study as a full degree student and then take six months off, do Erasmus somewhere else in another country and then come back and continue your studies here in Estonia. So great opportunities and scholarships uh, to do that as well. And there are various student organizations and really active student life, uh, different events for international students as well. About the academic year, it is divided into two semesters, uh, the fall semester and spring semester. At the end of those, you would have exams. Uh, the credit system is very common throughout. It's the same uh, throughout the European Union. And the tuition fees, as I said, are very affordable. They're between about 1,600 euros up to 11,000 euros. That would be the program for medicine, which is understandably a bit more expensive. About the higher education institutions in Estonia, so the universities and schools that you can apply to. There are uh, six different public institutions. Uh, they are listed over here and uh, they're universities and uh, uh, the state supports them. Then there are private institutions. The first Estonian business school is a university and Estonian Entrepreneurship University of Applied Sciences is a higher education institution. So basically, what's the difference uh, between universities and higher education institutions? The difference is universities also teach on a PhD level. So they're research institutions and higher education institutions only have bachelor and master programs. So they're not research institutions. That's the dif difference. So as I said, we have about 100 and different, 160 different programs in English language taught in different institutions. Uh, some examples, uh, startup entrepreneurship, cybersecurity engineering, and so on. So a lot of programs in, uh, in IT and engineering sector, but also in humanities and social sciences. So let's talk about admission and how that works in Estonia. As I said, we do everything online. That includes our admission system. So you can apply to all of the universities, all of the institutions via one website. So it's not complicated for you as an international student. You just go to estonia.dreamapply.com. You list all the programs you're interested in. You upload your documents that you need and you apply. You can apply to several different programs at once and to several different universities with one application. So it's very easy. And about universities, intake is usually um, once a year uh, with some tiny exceptions, but mainly uh, the school starts in September. And uh, whether you've been admitted or not, you should know by June the latest. And the requirements, that's the important part. What do I have to do to get admitted to university in Estonia? 
First of all, of course, you have to have notarized documents of your previous education. So if you're applying for a master program, you have to have your bachelor degree, uh, notarized documents and so on. You have to have proof of English skills. So if you're not coming from a country where English is, speaking, is spoken as a native tongue, then you should have a proof of English skills, either TOEFL or IELTS. Different universities have different level requirements uh, for TOEFL and IELTS. So you should check the websites out to see what level of uh, English proficiency is required. You need to fill out the application form and it needs, needs to be signed, uh, a copy of your passport and a passport photo and a motivation letter. Uh, in some cases, the university will also request a Skype interview. That's very, very common. They just want to see what kind of a person you are, how motivated you are um, and how they kind of see you fitting into their university and their program. Uh, in some programs, they do require SAT tests and application fees. Uh, some universities don't have application fees and some do. Uh, it depends on the university and the price also. And once you do the whole process of uh, sending the documents and you've gotten your answer and the university says, yes, you're accepted to a program and you're very welcome to come over to Estonia. Then you start applying for the temporary residence permit for studying. So there are a couple of things you need to know about the uh, TRP. Um, all students who are not Estonians or EU citizens uh, have to apply for it. And if you have less than about three months left for uh, your school to start, so let's say it's mid-June and your school starts in 1st of September, um, there are different uh, options to apply for a TRP. But you should be really, really quick about sending the documents because it takes at least two months uh, to get your TRP. And uh, in case of master and PhD students, uh, you can bring your spouse and your um, kids with you as well and apply for a TRP for them as well. And once you're in the country and you're kind of wanting to start your studies, uh, you also kind of need to know what are the expenses besides the tuition fees. So what's the average living cost? Estonia is very much more affordable than uh, Northern European or Western European countries. Uh, so it is nicer in that as aspect. But also, of course, it always depends on how much or how big of a spender you are. An average living cost, not including your housing, would probably for an international student be around 300 to 500 euros a month. And housing, of course, depends on if you're willing to live in a dormitory, which is about around 100 euros uh, monthly, or if you wanna rent a private flat or a room in a flat, um, which can be around three to 500 euros a month. So it depends on your um, interest and what do you wanna do, do you have want to have friends to live with or, or are you more of a person who loves to live alone. Uh, about working, we have a separate complete video about working in Estonia and the requirements for it, but I will say that international students are allowed to work during their studies. There are no limitations on hours or salaries or anything like that. So you can work full time, part time as an international student. That's fine. Uh, the only thing is that you still have to be a full time student. So you can't fall behind in your studies. And currently almost a third of um, master and PhD students work in the country, international students. So quite a lot of them use the opportunity to earn some money or kind of start building their career during their studies. About scholarships. Now that's a very important part for any international student. How am I gonna fund my studies? Uh, there are different scholarships. Uh, options, some of them are listed here, but also we do have a separate video 
uh, dedicated entirely to scholarships, where we talk about each and uh, every scholarship separately and explain how and who can apply to those scholarships. So thank you very much for joining us, for having a look at what Estonia is like and how you can study in the country. We hope to see you over here in Estonia quite soon. It's a beautiful place and thank you so much for watching. Bye.